And they're off. It is a mile and a quarter of the trip here with Intelligent, the purple jacket, the slowest of them to gather stride. And the pink colours of Mari's Diamond is the one who shows in front in the very early strides. On the left, the red cap of Peter the Great, who won the best turned out award, is close to him. A yellow colours of Royal Champion is with those as well. A red and white jacket of Grocer Jack, the market leader, in a good position early on. He's only going to be fourth, maybe third, close to the leaders. The all blue jacket of passion and glory is next and then Anne Mart in the blue and white colours, the dark blue and white of Certain Lad, runner-up a couple of years ago is next and then the noseband of last year's winner Fox's Tails, races ahead of Brentford Hope, a dark jacket and a red cap and the highest earner and also the senior runner, Intelligent in the purple and green is at the back of the field as they come to the end of the far straight in this Betfred Rose of Lancaster, Robert Havlin on Peter the Great, almost two lengths ahead uh, Tom Marquand on Grocer Jack in second, and then a pink jacket Sylvester de Souza on Mari's Diamond, Andrea Zeni in yellow, and next on Royal Champion. Louis Stewart in the blue, Passion and Glory, Jim Crowley level with him, and Mark Blue and White Stripes on the cap, and then Ben Curtis in dark blue and white on Certain Lad. David Probert is next, the nose banded Fox's Tails, and Adam Kirby on Intelligence moved ahead of Pat Dobbs on Brentford Hope. But Peter the Great continues to stride on with purple down the straight. He's getting to the three marker, leading by a length. Grocer Jack is in second. Royal Champion and Anne Mark both making progress. Extreme right is certain loud. One from the right is Passion and Glory. Intelligent behind those. Extreme left now, the noseband of Fox's tail. As the red and white Grocer Jack now comes through to take it up. But on the left, Anne Mart. The ultra consistent Anne Mart has swept past them all. Jim Crowley and Anne Mart have got into a two or three length lead. Certain loud, Grocer so Jack and Royal Champion are fighting out to uh, places only. And Mark never been out of the first three. And another victory for him here. Fifth of the career in devastating style with Jim Crowley. Grocer Jack in second. Then came Certain Lad and Royal Champion and Brentford Hope. And then Passion and Glory, Intelligent, Marty's Diamond. And the last two home were Fox's Tales and the pace setter Peter the Great. The Roos of Lancaster, Group 3 has went away. Uh, and Matt trained by Owen Burroughs. Very well trained by Owen Burroughs. Obviously getting them back after a lengthy break to win the, the John Smith's Cup. But that was another step forward today. Yeah, massively. Um, you know, it was a big performance to win at York first time up. Credit to all my team. Um, and, you know, he's pleased me since. So obviously this was a natural progression. He's obviously 109 today. Uh, he'd probably be a bit more after that, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> It's Grocer Jack. It looks like he's run his race. He's finished a good second. He in turn is well clear of the rest. And going, to, it looked like Jim just joined in at the further marker. He, yeah, that's what surprised me is how how far he's sort of travelled on the bridle. Um, yeah, he, he's he's obviously really improving, and he's 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 caught us out a little bit on how quickly he is improving. He doesn't hold any lofty entries. Do you have any thoughts for him, Michael? Not not honestly. Not after that. Um, yeah, we were sort of get today out of the way and see, you know, obviously stepping out of the handicap company. Um, interestingly, Jim, I know it was quick at York, but he thought the bit of juice in the ground suited him. So well, that's going to be my next question, because obviously yeah. we know next month we'll start getting sort of juicy ground. It would yeah. be a massive step up and he'd have to be supplemented with the Irish champion. Yeah, well, possibly, yeah, it would be, be great, great sort of discussions to have. So... Um, yeah, look, let's see how he comes out of it and we'll, we'll make a plan sort of in, in a week, week's time. A few, few discussions to have with Shaker Hisser and, um, yeah, brilliant. But just the way he went through the race, he just looked proper. Yeah, well, Jim, you know, Jim said there, he said he'd give him a hell of a feel, yeah. you know. Um, and, yeah, as I say, you know, we thought he was improving, but he, he, we didn't quite expect that, you know. Nice problem to have, well done. Brilliant, yeah, great, thanks a lot.